Hey everyone, DJ back with a new video. I made this video specially for you. Uh, there were several requests to have a video that would show how the Q Revo could handle uh, clothes, socks, wires, uh, white black wires, and just kind of see the overall obstacle avoidance of the Q Revo. If you don't have any pets or kids, maybe this object avoidance uh, isn't a big deal for you. But for others who uh, do have kids and, and animals and maybe things are left on the floor, you want to have a robot that can avoid these things. So if you have one, this video, well, it's just more informative. But if you haven't bought one yet, hopefully this will help you make a decision one way or the other. If you like this video, please leave me a comment at the end and tell me what you liked about the video. And if you have any recommendations on future videos that you'd like to see. Thank you. As you can see, it didn't do very well with the white wire. But uh, eventually, it had a little bit more success with the, uh, with the shirt. It did manage to just kind of bump into it, move it around, but it didn't crawl completely over it either. So, I mean, that's, I guess, a, a, a positive uh, for the Curivo. I guess maybe because it's a larger object and higher uh, than wires or socks, uh, it can uh, it can see uh, the overall size of the object and is able to overall uh, avoid it. May not be as perfect as we want it, but once again, at least it didn't completely run it over. Now here's where it really encountered an issue with the socks. As you can see, it just kind of went over them, uh, took both of them underneath. Uh, eventually, it does let one of the socks go, but it does take a while before that happens. And I know that's, that's kind of one of the things that we all do, right? We leave our socks laying around uh, we forget as much as we try to pick things up it's not always the easiest thing to remember to do right so yeah i can see it release one here and i'm just keeping a really good eye on it uh, but the other one is still stuck underneath uh, i thought eventually it was going to go ahead and let it out but uh, that wasn't the case i tried to hold it with my foot it still wouldn't let it go and now we had uh, the black wire get stuck underneath. As we can see, the object avoidance isn't working too well with the black sock, uh, the black wire. But eventually, I did have to intervene and grab that sock out from underneath it, but it just wouldn't give it up. But eventually, with enough pulling, it did finally let go. But immediately, it went right over the black wire. <laughs> so, as we can see, it doesn't always do so great with uh, black wires or socks. But, uh, I guess that's kind of why I usually do a little bit of uh, picking up before I send my robot out, making sure these types of things aren't laying around. But just when you thought it was over, I just had pulled the black sock out. I wasn't really paying attention until I heard the noise, but yeah, there was <laughs> the black wire still stuck. Took a little bit of a pull, but it finally released it. And then I sent it on its way. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to grow this channel and continue to make videos like this for you. Uh, but I need your help in order to get to 500 subscribers. I'm trying to get to that number within the next three months. So if you can subscribe, I would really appreciate it. As you can see, it does really good with uh, shirts. And I don't mean it completely avoids it, but at least it doesn't completely run over it. So, 
so far it's looking like when it comes to the smaller things like socks or cables um, because they're not as high and I believe it might be five centimeters is, is what I recall uh, if it's anything over five centimeters and over a certain length it's going to be able to see it and avoid it but things that are just flat to the ground it's just not going to do such a great job on it so that's probably the only reason we're seeing uh, the shirts uh, being avoided a lot better than any of the smaller to the ground type of obstacles. Here it just, uh, the only reason it doesn't go over this uh, black wire is because it's a little bit thicker than the other ones. The other ones are more like phone chargers uh, type of cables. Um, this is a little bit thicker than that. And the only reason at one point that it actually does go over it, you'll see in a minute, is that it uses one of the, it uses a white wire uh, to jump over and then get on top of the black wire. But it doesn't really matter. Either way, it doesn't do well with wires. Now here it's going over both wires and this is where it has a little bit of an issue with the white wire. Uh, the white wire seems to uh, get stuck inside of the roller. Actually that might have been more on the tire and so I had to go in there and help it out by lifting the robot up in order to be able to remove it. I hope this uh, video has been educational for everyone. And for those that haven't purchased a robot vacuum and are looking at the QRevo, I hope this has given you a little bit more information to help you make an educated decision if you want to purchase it or not. And if you could leave a comment, let me know what you liked, what you disliked. And if there's any uh, videos you would like me to make, uh, please add that to the comment. And then on the top video here on the left um, is the test where I ran uh, the QRevo over jelly, mustard. So uh, click the video if you want to watch that test. And thank you for, uh, for viewing my video. And if you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and subscribe and you can see any future videos that I come out with and I would be eternally grateful. Thank you very much.